Today we will be replacing the screen on an Apple iPhone 6. Required tools, pentalobe screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, plastic spudger, plastic opening tool, tweezers, metal blade, and a suction cup. This repair will take about 20 to 30 minutes. You'll be handling fragile parts, so take your time and be gentle. Be sure to use the works repair mat to keep all screws organized. Some screws have the same size but different lengths and can be easily misidentified during reassembly. If your display glass is cracked, keep further breakage contained and prevent bodily harm during your repair by taping the glass using packing tape. Wear safety glasses to protect your eyes from any glass shaken free during the repair. And be sure to wear an anti-static wrist strap to prevent static charges in the device. Lay overlapping strips of tape over the iPhone's display until the whole phone is covered. Before disassembling your iPhone, be sure it is powered off. Remove the two pentalobe screws to the lightning connector. Press a suction cup onto the screen just above the home button. Be sure the cup is completely on the screen to get a tight seal. While holding the iPhone down with one hand, Pull up on the suction cup to lightly separate the front panel assembly from the rear case. Be sure to take your time and apply firm, constant force. The display assembly is a much tighter fit than most devices. With a plastic opening tool or a metal blade, begin to gently pry the rear case down away from the display assembly while you pull up with the suction cup. Do not try to completely remove the front panel assembly from the rear case, as there are several ribbon cables still attached at the top of the iPhone. During the next few steps, until you remove the front panel assembly, keep it supported at a 90 degree angle in relation to the rear case. Remove the following five Phillips screws securing the front panel assembly cable bracket. Three 1.2 millimeter Phillips screws, one 1.7 millimeter Phillips screw, and one 3.1 Phillips screw. Remove the front panel assembly cable bracket from the logic board. Use a plastic opening tool to disconnect the four front panel assembly cables. The front facing camera and sensor cable, the home button cable, the digitizer cable, as well as the LCD cable. Remove the front panel assembly from the rear case. Remove the following Phillips screws from the earpiece, speaker, and front facing camera bracket. One 2.3 millimeter Phillips screw, one 3 millimeter Phillips screw, and one 2.2 millimeter Phillips screw. Remove the earpiece speaker and front facing camera bracket from the front panel. Lift the front facing camera out of its recess in the front panel. Holding the front facing camera out of the way, 
Remove the earpiece speaker from the front panel. Keeping the front facing camera out of the way, use tweezers to push the ambient light sensor up out of its recess in the front panel. Carefully pry the microphone end of the sensor cable off of the adhesive holding it to the front panel. Remove the front facing camera and sensor cable from the front panel. Remove the two 1.9 millimeter Phillips screws securing the home button bracket. Remove the home button bracket from the front panel. Use a plastic tool to disconnect the home button cable connector by pushing it up and away from the home button. Gently push the top left corner of the home button away from the front panel. Do not push the home button all the way through. You only need to get a corner free so that you can pry it free with this fudger. Use a plastic tool to carefully separate the home button cable from the adhesive securing it to the front panel. Once all of the adhesive has been separated, remove the home button from the front panel. Remove one 1.7 millimeter Phillips screw next to the home button. Remove three 1.6 millimeter screws on each side of the LCD frame. This will give you six in total. Lift the front facing camera end of the LCD shield plate up slightly. Do not attempt to remove the shield plate entirely. It is still attached to the front panel by the adhered down home button cable. Remove the LCD shield plate. Make sure to remove the protective cover from your new display assembly. For reassembly, make sure to transfer over the LCD shield, home button, front facing camera assembly, front facing camera lens bezel and earpiece speaker to your new part. Insert the LCD shield plate. Insert one Phillips screw next to the home button. Take your time and make sure screws are lined up correctly before tightening. This will help prevent strapping a screw. Screws should be tightened until snug. Do not over tighten these screws. Insert three screws on each side of the LCD shield plate. This will give you six in total.
insert the home button to the display assembly. Insert the home button bracket to the front panel. Insert two Phillips screws securing the home button bracket. Carefully insert the microphone sensor cable into the display assembly. Carefully place the front facing camera back into place. Place the ambient light sensor back into the front panel. Holding the front facing camera out of the way, insert the earpiece speaker to the front panel. Place the front facing camera back into place. Insert the earpiece, speaker, and front facing camera bracket to the front panel. Also insert the three Phillips screws to the earpiece speaker and front facing camera bracket. Insert the LCD cable, the digitizer cable, the home button cable, and the front facing camera and sensor cable. Make sure flex cables are properly aligned before snapping back into place and gently push on connections until they connect. Insert the front panel assembly cable bracket to the logic board. Insert the five Phillips screws securing the front panel assembly cable bracket. Holding the LCD at a 20 degree angle, secure the assembly into place by snapping together the latches on top. Run your fingers along the sides, being sure that the assembly slips evenly into the frame. 
make sure the new screen sits flush inside the frame. If the frame is bent, do your best to bend it back into shape. If you're still having trouble, please contact Works for assistance. Insert the two pentalobe screws next to the lightning connector. If you have questions related to this repair, please contact Works for assistance.